everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I'm sharing this cute little treat bag. It's really a simple treat holder, and I thought this one would be really cute for like a ladies' tea or a ladies' get together or just a thinking of you type gift. Sometimes um, the girls at work that I work with, if they're having a bad day, sometimes I'll just put something on their bench just to cheer them up. And I think this one would be really cute for something like that. So this is what I'm sharing, and it's going to be really quick and easy. And this um, paper is the Tasty Treats Designer Series paper, and it also is retiring. And this is one of the designer um, specialty sheets that's in there. There's two specialty sheets, and this is one of them. It's so adorable. It's embossed, and it's like got a glossy finish to it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's just really, really cute. And I thought this is so springy and summery. So this is what I'm sharing. So what I am going to use is, and this is single. There's, It's not double-sided because it is de specialty paper. Oh, you can see the gla glare right there, if you can see that. So pretty. But anyway, this piece is 11 by 3 and a half. And let me grab the scoring tool here, and we're going to score it at 5 and 6. So I am just going to score it at 5, and then it's 6. These are really quick and easy. And then we're just going to fold on our score marks. And what I'm using, what I put inside here, you could put anything. Like I found this hot cocoa mix that would fit in there. And there's a few other things that I found that would fit in there. Anything that's like three, three and a half inches wide will fit in there. I'm using these little um, trail mix because I thought that'd be really cute to put on someone's bench for like a little snack. And then how I'm just going to attach, I'm going to use my fast fuse and I'm just going to run a couple strips down here and it'll stick to there. And I'm setting it down towards the bottom. And you're going to need some of our white, these are the delicate white doilies and these are still um, available. They'll also be in our new catalog still. So I need one of those. And then all you're going to do is you are going to fold this up. And you're going to place your doily on top. And I just estimated halfway. And I'm going to use my hole punch here. And these are going to be right in the center of the doily so you only need them like maybe a quarter of an inch apart it's going through a bunch of layers so and then I'm also using and this paper is still available when I checked last night it was still available so if you want it you need to go grab it right away because these, everything is going so fast. And this ribbon is also retiring. And this was still available too. It's the mini striped ribbon. This is the Watermelon Wonder. That is one of our old in colors. We are getting new ones. And so I'm just going to take this ribbon. And we're just going to tie a knot. I love this this mini striped ribbon it's really pretty and we had quite a few we had like three or four colors I think in it and then I'm just gonna grab my ribbon scissors here and cut it at an angle so it looks like a little bow you could even just leave it like that but I thought the little sentiment was so cute just to put a little bit of extra on it. So I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White and I'm using the Ready to Pop which is going to be still in our catalog. We are keeping this and I'm using the For Me to You and I'm using some Soft Suede I 
thought that's so, so cute, the sentiment with the little arrows. And then I am going to punch it out with my one inch hole punch. This is an old Stampin' Up! Punch, hole punch. I've had it for forever, and I it's a, one of those whale ones, and it still works great. And I'm using a piece of pear pizzazz and our one and a quarter inch hole punch. I'm going to grab a dimensional, put it on the back, take the backing off, Center that, and then I'm just going to use a glue dot to hold it on. Now my glue dots were sitting right here. Easy. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> they're sitting right here. <laughs> oh my goodness! If it was a snake, it'd bit me. All right. <laughs> and then just center it underneath your ribbon here. <laughs> Oh boy. And that's it. It's so quick and easy and they are really cute and this paper is so adorable. This is the paper right here. It's really, really cute paper. And this is the other specialty and it's got that same gloss look to it. It's really, really cute. So that is it everyone. I hope you enjoyed the quick and easy little treat holder. And everyone, if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithabore.com and you can shop right from my blog. Thanks everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.